Lola and Tashi Delay from Kauai Tibetan Buddhist Dharma Center here on the island of Kauai in Hawaii. I'm Lama Ta Tashi. We have this class every Thursday night from 6 to 8 p.m. Hawaiian time, and it's recorded and put on our website, kauaidharma.org. When we do these classes, it's all about healing. So tonight we're going to do uh, several healing practices. The main one will be um, the Medicine Buddha. <clears throat> the Medicine Buddha practice is actually the theme of all Tibetan Buddhist healing practices. All the Sutra, all the Tantra method, meditation, yoga, everything is the medicine Buddha. It sums up all of what we take refuge in, the three jewels and the three roots, and it sums up all of the Bodhisattva uh, training program, and the altruistic motivation of Tibetan Buddhism, which is everything we do is for the benefit of everyone else, <clears throat> and of course our environment. When entering into the Tibetan Buddhist uh, tradition, connecting with the Dharma, the word Dharma has two meanings. One is wisdom and the other is phenomena. What exists and how it exists. So when we say uh, the Dharma, in our tradition, we're talking about all of the, the wisdom teachings passed on through the tradition of the Lama. The Lama tradition originated in India and was started by Shakyamuni Buddha 2,600 years ago. Then evolved down through the Indian tradition and it's eventually all the Himalayan countries and then into Tibet, Mongolia, Eastern China, and Western Russia. All of this is simply to turn the mind away from egocentric awareness, which is, um, for us humans, is the emotional involvement of drama. What, what is taking place in the world around us. And all of this drama is based on <clears throat> what we call judgment. And this judgmental aspect of awareness is the cause of all pain and suffering in the human tradition and in all of the um, <clears throat> animal world and in all of the spirit world. And when we talk of the spirit world, we're including the heavenly or celestial beings, the demigod or war god goddesses, the deprived spirits, and the de demonic spirit world. Those four categories of spirits are everywhere in the universe. Then, Animals and humans take place on planets throughout the universe. So these are all called sentient beings and they are the purpose for Dharma practice. We're going to start with taking refuge with <clears throat> the altruistic motivation and um, that prayer is at the top of your refuge sheet if you have this. In order to attain enlightenment for ourselves and limitless sentient beings, our mothers, we now all together take refuge and when possible offer prostration. So that's the theme of the next part of the refuge, which is the six supports, the three jewels and the three roots. And it goes like this. We go for refuge to all glorious holy lamas. 
We go for refuge to all the idams, which are the deities gathered in our mandala practices. We go for refuge to all the Buddhas, those who have conquered their mind and gone beyond. We go for refuge to all this supreme dharma. We go for refuge to all the noble sangha. We go for refuge to all the dakas and dakinis who are the protectors and defenders of dharma. All of these possess the eye of transcending awareness. <clears throat> and the third part of this is to take refuge in the six bodhisattva disciplines, or what we call bodhicitta. That prayer is to the Buddha, Dharma, and this supreme assembly, we go for refuge until enlightenment. May I, through merit, gain from practicing the six bodhisattva perfections or disciplines accomplish Buddhahood for the sake of all sentient beings. Then we chant these prayers <clears throat> in Sanskrit, and the first prayer, the altruistic motivation, goes like this. Dog down, Jova, Nanke, Ta down, Yampe, Sem Chem, Tom Che, Judy, Ne, Jung, De, G, C, Jang, Chu, Ning, Po, La, Chi, P, Bar, Du. In the refuge prayer, all then Lama, Dampa, Nam, La, Jam, Su, Chi, Nam <laughs> <laughs> Pao Kandro Chokyong Sung Me Sho Ye Se Ki Shendong Dempa Nam La Chab Su Chiyo. Then a Bodhisattva prayer. Sanje Cho Dong Choki Chok Nam La Cheng Shu Gardu Dao Ni Chab Su Chi. Dagi jin so ji pe so na ki dro la venger sanje gu bar sho. The Buddha, the Dharma, and Sangha, all Buddhists honor, and that <clears throat> they are called the three jewels. And the basis of these three jewels is what is called the wish fulfilling jewel, which is one's own mind that uses this refuge of the altruistic motivation, the three jewels together with the three uh, tantric refuges of the Lama and deities and protectors, Dakinis, and the six Bodhisattva discipline practices together with all of the mandala offerings of peaceful and protector deity. This takes it, this part of this tradition takes us from the developing and growing stage into what is called the evolutionary stage of, a, of higher and higher states of intelligence, which are called higher awareness. And that higher awareness is wisdom, and it is innate in every sentient being. Every sentient being has this aspect of their consciousness together with their drama mind. So the discipline of Tibetan Buddhism evolving from Shakyamuni Buddha and the Indian tradition is to gradually move away from the imperfection of the, we call judgmental mind, the relative mind, into the ultimate truthful nature of your consciousness, which doesn't do that. 
and there's no ceiling to that other states of natural, we call natural mind or awareness. And the word Buddha simply means using these methods to attain a state of maturity in the human condition. And staying in that condition and not migrating into uh, the animal rebirth or spirit world rebirth, even including heaven, or what we call the ordinary rebirth in the human tradition. That said, we'll start the practice tonight with the three lights breathing method, meditation practice, and then use the healing yoga of the five elements in combination with the three light uh, prana yoga practice. Sit with your back straight, hands on your knees or in your lap, comfortable, head slightly tilted forward, mouth closed, tongue resting against the palate, eyes maybe may half closed to the gazing to the space directly in front of your eyes about arm's length in front, not too close and not at an object. When you have these six positions called mudras, then the clarity of the mind can arise naturally with the practice. To start this practice, bring your focus to your breath. For a few moments, simply just watch the breath in and out. And at the same time, as you inhale, the diaphragm expands. Exhale, the diaphragm contract. Bring your awareness to just that. The second step is using that focus on the breath to bring your awareness together with the, the mental process of imagination. We say visualization. This involves to picture in your mind what is taking place with your breath. To do that, as you inhale, imagine that the air, which contains all the five elements, is filling your lungs with white light. The middle breath or absorption breath you visualize as red light flashing through every cell of your body, distributing the energy of the element. Then you bring these two color codes together, the white and the red, and exhale what is called the healing breath out your nose, visualizing it goes everywhere to space, like the sky. Again, inhale white light, the air is white light filling your lungs. The energy of that red light through every cell in your body. Both of these energies together, color coded as blue light, exhaled out your nose to space, available to every sentient being in the universe. You do this three light breathing method until you start to 
disassociate from the worldly activities of the day and start to settle into a state of calm abiding, peace and tranquility. And this becomes the basis for all the methods of sutra and tantric practice. And right now, specifically for this five elements healing method, Once you've settled, then take your focus off the breath and with your imagination, the color code of the three lights is visualized that come all together as a tiny particle of light centered in the center of your chest in the central channel of your life force. And that tiny energy point placed in the what we call the area of the heart chakra is connecting to all the infinite light of space the boundless fabric of space then you simply be present and relax with that which will become the basis for all of the practices we do. It's called the foundation or <clears throat> the all ground. This is actually in Tibetan Buddhism called the Dharmakaya. Kaya means vehicle, the all pervasive nature of your mind. Then bring your focus back to the particle in your heart chakra and with the, visualize it grow into a small sphere of clear light. In this way you enter from the spatial state of awareness into the three dimensional state of our phenomenal world. And this is what we connect to with this five lights healing practice, this world. That small sphere of clear light, imagine it to grow into the size of a small blue sphere labeled water, which is one of the five elements. They cannot be separated, but for healing purposes, one stresses one or more of the elements. Tonight it's the blue sphere. Visualize it in your heart center about the size of your thumbnail. And imagine it to grow in size and move out in front of your body and up before your eyes. Then visualize it to expand in size large enough that you can see your physical body sitting inside like a, a large bubble of blue light.
Naturally speaking, our body is predominantly this element, water. Expand it in size with your imagination to completely enclose a large area of where you are practicing. City or town here in Hawaii, we imagine it to enclose this island of Kauai and some of the surrounding ocean inside. Expand it in size with your imagination to completely enclose Mother Earth, including her atmosphere. Apply it now to our solar system with all the planets and the sun inside. Sentient beings inhabit these planets. They are called spirits. Extend your reference by imagining this symbol to grow in size to completely enclose our spiral dish-shaped galaxy. Then be, move beyond the limits of your conceptual mind and imagine it to merge with boundless space. At this point, no meditation. Simply contemplate space. Remain present with this process. Having increased your capacity in this dimension of this element of space, return by visualizing the blue sphere again, enclosing the galaxy. Condense it in size to just enclose the solar system. Moving with this meditation, visualize it much smaller to just enclose Mother Earth. Then much, much smaller to just enclose your city, town, or island, or a large area of where you're doing this practice. Then condense it to just enclosing your physical form just as you are sitting inside. Taking all, taking all the life force energy of the universe, concentrating it into your situation.
This gravy increases what is called chi. In Sanskrit, prana. Then reduce it in size to its original small size directly in front of your eyes. Two feet in front. Drop it to chest level and bring it into your heart chakra. Shrink it in size to a tiny sphere of clear light, then to a tiny particle of light connecting to the infinite light of boundless space. No meditation. Simply relax. In the natural state of your all pervasive mind. Stay. It is the most valuable of the five elements in relation to awareness. Whether it be the relative mind or the ultimate nature of your natural mind. These two not, cannot be separate, but in practice, we're exchanging one for the other. Of course, the ultimate purpose of this is to bring healing to, to the human condition in such a way as to alleviate all pain and suffering. for oneself and limitless sentient being. We think of each and every one of them as having once been our mother, relative, friend, lover, pet, advisor, teacher, etc. Bring your awareness to in front of your eyes and spread it into your room. And dedicate the merit of this practice, this healing practice of the three lights and the five element healing to any modality that would benefit yourself, others, or the environment, which is everyone and everything.
Dharma practice. All of the Dharma ha has very little use in alleviating pain and suffering unless one practices it. And by the word practice, which means with the advice of a Lama, Guru, take the methods introduced and use them with your body, with your speech, and with your mind. Of these three, the mind is the boss. So the mind is trained so that this body and the speech follows its direction. Without these three in practice, which we use the term meditation with mantra, which is the use of the speech, and yoga, which is the use of the physical body, then the other nature of the mind will not develop, will not become useful, appropriate in your worldly situation as a human being. And so my teacher, Kala Rinpoche, said, you must understand this relative situation and just as it is. And the first and most important thought about this is that you have an extremely extraordinary, valuable situation in having connected with the Dharma and the lineage teachers. That's the first thought. Six billion human beings on this planet, and you have this extraordinary situation to help them. Number two, you should practice now because everything is impermanent. Everything you see before you will change or disappear. And Kala Rinpoche advised to think of it for bodhisattva practice, for us, as you don't know which comes first, your next breath or the next life. So practice now. The third is karma. Karma happens in two ways. The first one is that all your tendencies of previous life have followed you like a shadow into this life. Developing good tendencies produce good results. Negative tendencies, harmful results. And the third thing is conditioned as existence itself is unfavorable. And it's, you can see that in others. In order to overcome this aging, sickness, and what is called death of the body, one moves from the conditioned existence with practice into the more favorable, unconditioned nature of your mind, which produces an end to conditioned existence. Knowing it as this takes place that everything is constantly changing and that the basis of everything, physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually, is like a mirage, an illusion. Those four thoughts, favorable existence, impermanent, karma, 
and the unfavorableness of our condition situation is the reason for practicing, actually practicing with your body, speech, and mind. All of what your teacher advises you to do or shows you. Then you find out through practice its usefulness. Personally, over the last 50 years of Dharma practice, everything has gotten better. And because of that, for myself, I become more useful to the world around me and the beings in it. And that's a perk. And it becomes more and more like play, like child's play. And less and less like work. <laughs> so I'm explaining this in both all-pervasive existence and my own individual situation. I use the color code blue in connection with the water element tonight because it's actually the main element in our body. How does this, how do these elements take place in a physical body through one's mother? And how you take birth is very simply, first of all, you, you find your mother and she gives you space in your physical body. This is the symbol of that, the white sphere. Then she uses her own prana or energy so that you have air in that environment of the space. Then she adds the warmth of her body, that's the fire element. Then through her own nutritional situation, the water element takes place. This becomes your form. And finally, the earth element, which is the solid matter within the form, for instance, the bone. So these five elements produce, you have been produced, created by your mother to come into existence in the human condition. Your karmic situation is totally up to you. Once you enter into the human fetus, where the brain, the heart, and the sexual organs are all in good shape, then take birth in that situation. Then the mother produces you into the world and you have nobody to thank but your mother. In the Medicine Buddha tradition, these, these five elements are incorporated in all the healing methods on the planet today. All the tribes of the planet have evolved with this connection to the natural world. And they did that both on the physical level and involvement of survival, having shelter, food, and so forth, 
but also in the spiritual aspect of the elemental nature of nature itself, using the color codes of the environment around it and, this, and the connection to that through your five sensual states, your eyes, nose, mouth, hearing, and touch. So when you do the medicine Buddha practice, That was the basis of Tibetan Buddhism. And when Padmasambhava entered into Tibet from India, that's the way he introduced it. And he did that because like in India, they were already using those five elements for survival. And the tradition before the word Tibetan Buddhism or yoga, meditation and so forth evolved in Tibet. was called the Bon Po tradition, which originated from China, from the Quan Yin tradition, taught by a woman 5,000 years ago. In China, she was called Quan Yin in Tibet, Ch Tara. So when we do this Medicine Buddha practice, there's a text. Now, the one I have here evolved from Kala Rinpoche's and Lama Tenzin and other Lama Rinpoche's teaching for us to use in our Dharma centers here in Hawaii. And most of the Dharma centers in the United States have this same way it looks. This is called a pecha. This is how they did it in Tibet, block printed these sheets. But the medicine Buddha called Sanjay Menla is actually based on the old tradition of the Nyingma evolved from Padmasambhava. And in the first page, it refers to this teacher with the sound whom. Now whom is the vibration sound and the code of all healing in Tibetan Buddhism. And all the deities connect to this sound. So Padmasambhava is used as a reference for the medicine Buddha practice. And it goes like this. Hung in the country of Kashmir called Oregon, at the junction northwest of India on the stem of a center of an open lotus, you having obtained the wonderful and most, most perfect city, city or accomplishment is renowned as born from a lotus, which is the symbol of having taken human birth in the extraordinary sense of the guru or light body. You are surrounded by a host of Dakinis. Now the Dakinis are the energy element that is transferred everywhere in nature. Earth, water, fire, air, and space. That's all the Dakini, mother, female energy program of the natural world. Everywhere. Whether it be your body, or location, or planet, solar system, galaxy, universe. Please approve of me as your student and grant your blessing. So this is the prayer to that guru, Baba Sambhava, because lamas don't migrate. Gurus stay in the world and emanate into human body condition as just that and make their self available to teach humans a more appropriate way to be in the human condition. Enable us to follow your guide and example. 
let your blessings fall on this worthy place and to me as your worthy student and aspirant please transmit the four empowerments for the perfect accomplishment of my natural of realizing my natural mind please clear away all obstacles that might hinder this or take us in the wrong direction please grant the supreme all the supreme and ordinary appropriate accomplishments called jiddy so that seven line prayer is the basis of all sutra and tantric practice and the sound whom is the theme of all the pages of this text right down to the very last page which is usually used in healing which is a dharani of the medicine buddha and, and a dharani means it's what the Dakinis are using as a theme for all healing applications, whether it be to treat the symptoms or symptomatic medicine, which is what all traditions have used, or the cause of the disease, which is the judgmental mind. And this medicine, Buddha Dharani, is usually done with prostrations but more importantly at the start of any healing practice and i wake up in the morning every morning i i hear it from my lovely wife abby and it goes like this oh namo bhagavati vasaja guru varduriya Prabha Razdaya, Tata Gataya Arhate, Samaya Sambudaya, Tadyata Om, Bikanzi, Bikanzi, Maha Bikanzi, Razda Samangati, Soha. The translation of this Dharani is we take refuge in this world with the honor one, honorable one, king of light, medicine Buddha of the pure crystal blue radiant, one who has gone to suchness of his divine nature, worthy of offerings, destroyer of demons, one of absolute, absolute universal enlightened awareness, the natural state of our ultimate nature of mind. All wisdom energy, which is the aspect of the five elements. Pure mind, medicine healing, ultimate cure, great medicine king. With you, we cross this ocean of suffering, which permeates everywhere our results permeate everyone. So we're going to chant this Medicine Buddha Dharani three times. And for some of you that don't have the Medicine Buddha text, this, this is very, very suitable for any addition to any healing modality. Or if, if you find yourself in need of a good healing remedy this one really works <laughs> very effective it's, it's on the website oh and abby says it's on the website om namo bhagavati by sasha guru by durya pramahrasdaya tathagata arvati samgarsa puraya Tadyada Om Bikanzi Bikanzi Maha Bikanzi Rasta Samangati Soha Om Namo Bhagavati Vaisaja Guru Vaidurya 
Pravavarazadaya, Tadagata, or Hopti, Samyaksa Buddha, Tadyata, Om, Bikanji, Bikanji, Maha, Bikanji, Raja Samagati, Soha. Again, Om Namo Bhagavati, by Sasha Guru, by Durya. Prabha Razadaya, Tathagata Arati Samyaktam Bodhiya, Tayada Om Bhikasi Bhikansi Maha Bhikansi Raja Samangati Soha. We take refuge in this honor when the blue king of light, the medicine leader, all of the Lama and all of the Sangha and everything that we practice is medicine of the medicine Buddha, our own natural mind. And this infinite situation, I use the word infinite because it's applied to everyone and everything. So that this unfavorable condition of existence is totally healed into one state of highest awareness or intelligence with compassion, power, insight as a state of bliss, joy, fun. <laughs> so tonight we're going to do the Medicine Buddha practice and the empowerment is the same as the empowerment from the Lama to you with the body, speech, and mind using the sound, three sounds, Om, Ah, and Hum, connected with the breath. We have the picture of the medicine Buddha here. So when we actually do the practice, your situation will be the medicine Buddha. You will be the medicine Buddha. And that sets up an infinite application of healing for everyone you come in contact with and the environment of the world around you. And it all starts with the seeds of the home. As the ultimate vibration of all healing method. Most importantly, the mantra application of your speech. Connecting the heart chakra through the sound of the mantra of the medicine Buddha to connect to all the beings in and around you, all the spirit world, all the animal world, and all the human. We start with the three lights, breathing practice, and add the three wisdom sounds of Om as the energy of the healing energy of, of the life force of the universe applied to your body. That's Om. Then Ah is the energy of that applied to whatever situation in you or in others or the environment around you for healing. And then the home is a combination of those two coming together as your mind focusing this and imagining it, directing it individually or universally to oneself or individual others or the totality of all beings throughout the universe. Hands in a comfortable position on the knees or in the lap, back straight, this sets up a state of clarity. Head slightly forward to line up the energy centers of the head, throat, heart, navel, sex chakra. 
eyes open so that the energy of the light in space directly in front starts to move through your brain and causes all the nadis energy channels throughout your body called nadis to exist as support for your human condition. Breathe. Mouth closed or slightly open, up to you. Tongue against the palate. Breathe. Then visualize the Lama, any Lama, Dalai Lama, Lama Tashi, any teacher man or woman of this tradition in front of you. Visualize light from the Lama's head in front comes into your head as the empowerment for your body to position yourself in the universal application of healing using the symbol of the Blue Medicine Buddha. Inseparable from any Lama or practitioner of this tradition, of this method. Then red light from the teacher's throat to your throat is the empowerment of the power and energy of your speech to be using mantra or whatever healing sounds are appropriate. Then you visualize blue light from the Lama's heart chakra into your heart chakra with the sound OM. So the OM and the AH, the energy, come together in the heart chakra as the blue OM is the wisdom of your natural mind to completely transform the judgmental mind into a state of, or evolutionary process of higher and higher states of intelligence or awareness developing through the practice. The fourth empowerment is you see all three lights shining simultaneously from the Lama Guru in front into you, then you visualize the fourth empowerment of union as the Lama merges into you like water into water. Then the body, speech, and mind of the Lama as compassion, power, insight, these three are situated as Om in the head center of your head in a white sphere of light. Ah, in red, in a red sphere of light in your throat. And the blue, dark blue home in a blue sphere of light in your heart chakra. Then you bring the ohm down into the ah, these two merge together down into the home. And the home is the universal sound of this energy actualizing, being effective, using the Dharmakaya nature of your mind, the all pervasive application of consciousness or awareness in the practice. Breathe. As you inhale the air, which is all the elements coming into your lungs, you visualize it as white light filling your lungs and you hear the sound OM. With the absorption breath, Evolving from this inhale, 
becomes the energy pervading every cell in your body as the sound of the energy ah. Oh. So you visualize that and hear that sound. Then you bring the, the code of these two sound, sounds, the ohm and the ah, and the white and the red <coughs> color code. With the exhale out your nose is blue light to every being throughout the universe in space and the environmental world around you, just as it exists. And you hear the sound, boom, which looks like this. So with this home, your body, speech, and mind, the om, ah, and hum starts to develop with the medicine Buddha as the Lama inseparable, you become. Dressed in the robes of the Lama, sitting in full lotus, on an eight petal lotus, on a sun and moon disk, which light up our part of the universe and light us up as human beings in states of maturity in the human condition. This symbol does not need to be projected. It is the nature of the universe and it's the life support, total life support system for life to exist everywhere in the universe. This causes the heart mantra to appear in your heart chakra from the Durrani that we started the class with of the Medicine Buddha, extracting the mantra from that, Tadyatha. Om, Bikanzi, Bikanzi, Maha, Bikanzi, Rasda, Samangate, Soha. And this transfers all of the energy of your body, speech, and mind out into the world around you as healing energy that can be applied individually or collectively universally with your ability to focus and use your imagination. So now we're going to do the medicine Buddha practice. Visualize the blue horn in your heart center, the mantra circling the moon, the letters are stationary and face it face out. You as the medicine Buddha and the energy going to all the spirit world and everywhere in the universe where animals and humans take birth. And the purpose to bring all of them to maturity equal to your state of maturity as the medicine Buddha. Tadyada Om Bikanzi Bikanzi Ma Bikanzi Rasda Samangate Soha Tadyada Om Bikanzi Bikanzi Ma Bikanzi Rasda Samangate Soha Tadyata Om Bikanzi Bikanzi Maha Bikanzi Rasda Samangate Soha. The first chanting of the mantra applied to your body. That's just for you. The second one applied to your speech. That's for everybody. And the third one applied to your moving from con into the unconditional state of your natural mind, which is infinite in its application, no boundary like space. 
equally applied to every sentient being without any judgment and the environment around you just as it is i'm going to say this mantra one round apply to whatever unhealthy situation exists on the planet today to transform all of that into states of good health and happiness for every sentient being and our environment mother earth so this is from your heart from the home the mantra is the vibration of your speech to express that and you visualize yourself as the rainbow body of the medicine buddha as a, an appropriate situation for every sentient being to re reach maturity in the human condition. Is the, mantra, is the mantra moving or stationary? No, stationary and okay. the letters face out. Okay. The hung and the mantra fill your all the nadis in your body. Eight, 80, <clears throat> excuse me. 84,000 channels of light through your body then all of that blazes outward the same way the sun does our solar system supporting life in the natural world that's how you visualize the home you as the medicine buddha on an eight petal lotus and i'll explain the eight eight petals or eight applications as we after we finish for now, it's just enough applied to all sentient beings and our universe, our planet, just as it is. Tadyata means to gather all of this wisdom energy, however it is on the, in the world today. Om, life force, filling it. Bikanzi applied to the body. Bikanzi applied to the speech. Maha Bikanzi applied to the mind. Rasa Samangate Soha transformed all beings into the ultimate state of the medicine Buddha. Complete maturity in the human condition. Only humans can do this. That's us. Inhale. Tadyada Om Bikanzi Bikanzi Maha Bikanzi Rasa Samagate Soha Tadyata Om Bikanzi Bikanzi Maha Bikanzi Rasa Samagate Soha Tadyata Om Bikanzi Bikanzi Maha Bikanzi Rasa Samagate Soha Tadyata Om Bikanzi Bikanzi Maha Bikanzi Rasa Samagate Soha Tadyata Om Bikanzi Bikanzi Maha Bikanzi Rasa Samagate Soha Tadyata Om Bikanzi Maha Bikanzi Rasa Samagate Soha Tadyata Om Bikanzi Bikanzi Maha Bikanzi Rasa Samagate Soha Tadyata Om Bikanzi Bikanzi Maha Bikanzi Rasa Samagate Soha Tadyata Om Bikanzi Bikanzi Maha Bikanzi Rasa Samagate Soha Tadyata Om Bikanzi Maha Bikanzi Rasa Samagate Soha Tadyata Om Bikanzi Bikanzi Maha Bhaganji Rasa Samagati Soha Tadyata Om Bhaganji Bhaganji Maha Bhaganji Rasa Samagati Soha Tadyata Om Bhaganji Bhaganji Maha Bhaganji Rasa Samagati Soha Tadyata Om Bhaganji Bhaganji Maha Bhaganji Rasa Samagati Soha 
The medicine Buddha holds the Myrobalam healing fruit in the right hand and the medicine bowl full of wisdom nectar. The right hand is for healing all physical situation and the left hand is all the obstructions of the mind, all negativity of the mind, purified, removed, transformed into spiritual states of awareness and practice. Tadya do be ganzi be ganzi ma be ganzi raza samagati soha Tadya do be ganzi be ganzi ma be ganzi raza samagati soha Tadya do be ganzi be ganzi ma be ganzi raza samagati soha Tadya do be ganzi be ganzi ma be ganzi Rajda Samagate Soha Dajata Hong Bikanzi Bikanzi Ma Bikan Rajda Samugate Soha Rajda means wealth and health. Samugate means ultimate nature of your natural mind as bliss. Soha to every sentient being in the universe. Always expanding. Timeless. This application is timeless. Tadyado Biganzi Biganzi Ma Biganzi Rajda Samogate Soha Tadyado Biganzi Biganzi Ma Biganzi Rajda Samogate Soha Tadyado Biganzi Biganzi Ma Biganzi Rajda Samogate Soha Tadya the home be Kanji be Kanji Ma be Kanji Rajya Samagati Soha Tadya the home be Kanji be Kanji Ma be Kanji Rajya Samagati Soha Tadya the home be Kanji be Kanji Ma be Kanji Rajya Samagati Soha Tadya the home be Kanji be Kanji Ma be Kanji Rajya Samagati Soha Tadya the home be Kanji be Kanji Ma be Kanji Rajya Samagati Soha Tadya the home be Kanji be Ma be Kanji Rajya Samagati Soha Bekanzi or Bikanzi means blue. Bikanzi is how you say it in Tibet. Bikanzi is how you say it in India. Tadya the home, Bekanzi, Bekanzi, Ma, Bekanzi, Rajda Samagate Soha. Tadya the home, Bekanzi, Bekanzi, Ma, Bekanzi, Rajda Samagate Soha. Tadya the home, Bikanzi, Bikanzi, Ma, Bikanzi, Rajda Samagate Soha. Tadya the home, be Kanji, be Kanji, ma, be Kan, Rasa Samukate Soha, Tadya the home, be Kanji, be Kanji, ma, be Kanji, Rasa Samukate Soha, Tadya the home, be Kanji, be Kanji, ma, be Kanji, Rasa Samukate Soha, Tadya the home, be Kanji, be Kanji, ma, be Kanji, Rasa Samukate Soha. Tadya the home, be Kanji, be Kanji, Ma, be Kanji, Raja Samagati Soha, Tadya the home, be Kanji, be Kanji, Ma, be Kanji, Raja Samagati Soha, Tadya the home, be Kanji, be Kanji, Ma, be Kanji, Raja Samagati Soha, Tadya the home, be Kanji, be Kanji, Rajasamagati Soha 
Any part of this visualization of you being the medicine Buddha, any part of that, any part of the home sound, any part of the mantra that circles the home, any of the light emanating through your body into space, going everywhere, any of this that you can see in your mind's eye is the practice, whether it be a tiny bit of it or all of it. There's no ceiling to the development of this practice. Tajata Om Bikanzi Bikanzi Ma Bikanzi Raja Samagati Soha Tajata Om Bikanzi Bikanzi Ma Bikanzi Raja Samagati Soha Tajata Om Bikanzi Bikanzi Ma Bikanzi Raja Samagati Soha Tajata Om Bikanzi Bikanzi Ma Bikanzi Raja Samagati Soha now you can apply this individually to sentient beings you have karma with, friends, relatives, lovers, pets, enemies, spirits, any application you wish, universally or individually applied, it works. Tadya the Om Bikanzi Bikanzi Ma Bikanzi Raza Samagati Soha Tadya the Om Bikanzi Bikanzi Ma Bikanzi Raza Samagati Soha Tadya the Om Bikanzi Bikanzi Ma Bikanzi Raza Samagati Soha Tadya the Om Bikanzi Bikanzi Ma Bikanzi Raza Samagati Soha Tajatum, 
Samagati means always increasing, no ceiling, no goal. Universally or individually applied. To end the practice, The Medicine Buddha sits on eight a petal lotus. These eight petals, on each petal, a Buddha Bodhisattva sits. So there's eight of them, all facing forward, the same direction as the Medicine Buddha. Starting in front, the first five Buddhas are the antidotes to the five conflicting emotional states of attachment, aversion, pride, jealousy, and stupidity or ignorance. The sixth is the Buddha antidote to any form of hexes or curses thrown as an obstacle to your good health. The third is all of the traditions of religions that are practiced in a harmful way or with a harmful motivation connected to the practice of that religious tradition. All of that you're protected from. And then the third is any harm inflicted from spirits. And all of the spirits actually emanated from the human condition. And the animals also are a result of the human condition. All of these were once human. But because of their conflicting emotional minds, they can cause one ill health and other harmful affliction. So the Medicine Buddha's eight applications are to protect from all of those unhealthy obstacles. Then all of those eight disappear into the Medicine Buddha. Then all sentient beings become the Medicine Buddha in your mind. All dissolve into the home in your heart center. The Medicine Buddha disappears into the mantra, Tadyatha Om Bikanzi Bikanzi Maha Bikanzi Raza Samagati Soha. And that mantra, starting with the Om, letter by letter, 
syllable by syllable disappears into the home in your heart center. It's surrounded by a five colored sphere of light symbolizing the five elements and five wisdom states together. That shrinks to a tiny particle of light, which is how you started your three lights practice at the beginning of this session. And you relax into space. No meditation, no judgment. Be free, open, and relax in your natural mind, just as it is, naked and clear, liberated. Nothing to add, nothing to take away.
when you arise from the accomplishment stage of the medicine Buddha practice, then everything you do is based on this image of the medicine Buddha sitting on a lion's throne with cross fargers of the five <coughs> states of healing as a symbol on an eight petal lotus and then with the myra balm in the right hand and the medicine bowl full of wisdom nectar in the left and a stainless mirror is his background and this blue sphere is the mind energy of that color code for ultimate healing applied to any situation, physical, mental, emotional, or spiritual. To finish this practice, I'm going to read the last, the closing prayer, like a dedication prayer <clears throat> from the Medicine Buddha text. I bow before the Vatikrishur, the Medicine Buddha, as a Tathagaka, Tathagata, conqueror of all uh, negative situations. Completely and pure, perfect Buddha, Sanjay Menla, king of Lapis Luli Radiance. Namo Bikanzi Maharazaya, Ram Yam Kam, possessing the treasure of the ocean <clears throat> of qualities and merits. Extending this blessing of your inconceivable compassion, appear in the world to ease the afflictions and pains of sentient beings. I pray to you, light of Lapis Lazuli, Sanjay Menla, that those born in the realm of hungry ghosts, ghosts who are bound by extreme greed upon hearing your name are born as generous humans. I pray to you, the victor, Medicine Buddha, and to those beings born in the realm of hells and demonic situations because of abuse, immorality, and other negative, extremely harmful acts of body, speech, and mind, upon hearing your name, take a higher rebirth. I pray to you, accomplish this, King of men, men, Medicine. And those whose health and life are undone by discord and slander of all sorts upon hearing your name cannot be harmed. I pray to you, the King of Healing. I pray to you as the Lama Senlak Surze and other Lamas, and to all the royal Shak descendants of Shakyamuni Buddha, I pray to the completely perfect mandala of the Lamas of this Medicine Buddha tradition and all the traditions of Tibetan Buddhism, and to all the four kings of the higher heavenly realms, and to the great chiefs of the spirit world of the nurtures and others, I pray to all these collections that have any healing power, and all the volumes of the Holy Dharma, all the Sutra and Tantra and all the prayers of the seven Tathagatas and all the cycles applied as the, through the texts and teachings of the, all the lineages. I pray all of this to bring healing into this world right now today. To all Dharma practitioners, Bodhisattvas and so on, and to all the Holy Lamas of all the lineages, may the blessing of praying like this Dissipate the many dangers and sickness invading our world today. Having quenched all fears of lower realms of death, bless me to be born in the ultimate nature of my own mind. They watch it, mind of bliss.
We have a little bit of time left in our two hour session. And because of this extreme situation occurring on the planet today, involving all the humans, animals, and spirits that exist here on Mother Earth. We'll use the tradition of taking and sending not only to purify our own situation, our own minds, body, speech, and mind, but in some way alleviate the, the pain and suffering of these extremes. And when you do the taking and sending practice of Tonglen, the simplicity of it is to bring all negativity of whatever situation or being you are using in this practice as an object to come into your heart chakra based on the letter home as black light it disappears it's erased and in your mind's eye with imagination and focus see white light go back to that individual group or situation and completely heal it it completely means physically, mentally, emotionally, and most importantly, spiritually. For us, spiritual, ultimate spiritual accomplishment is to reach the maturity in the human condition as a Bodhisattva Buddha. Bodhisattva in practice, Buddha in realization. And with these two inseparable applications, you project your mind's ability to focus and imagine to those you have karma with this life. Or the extreme situation is existing around the planet, such as war, number one, which is out of control all over this planet. Social upheaval and unrest, an unimaginable numbers. Famine and drought, extreme environmental discord. Poverty. Sickness and disease. And environmental destruction and the spread of and toxins to our environment. And on and on and on in all our social levels and endeavor. In the human condition. affecting the animal and spirit world to the point where if we don't interact friendly with these spirits through these practices, we have lost the meaning of the Dharma and the practice of the Dharma in our reality, in our situation. So we do the practice of Tongmen, taking and sending, using your body, speech, and mind, compassion, power, insight, and your true nature of loving kindness. With your breath, do the taking and sending practice to individuals you have karma with, who need your caring about them.
This is one of the highest levels of bodhisattva actual practice. And to leave the body doing this practice, your future would look really good in the next world. And future life. So visual, visualize a loved one. Relative, lover, associate, pet, teacher, someone you have concern for and take in any discomfort or healing, <clears throat> lack of healing or disease, like black light into your heart center and disappear. Exhale from your heart with loving kindness, white light to that individual, and visualize them completely healed, physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually. Your choice of subject matter. Breathe. Move your mind's eye to individuals you have karma with, even pets. For instance, tonight my cat, our cat Momo is not feeling good. So taking and sending is very appropriate. Cheryl's friend just had hip replacement surgery. You could do it for her as well. Who? Cheryl's friend just had hip replacement surgery. She's listening right now. Yeah, we're doing Cheryl's friend. Okay. Each of you watching tonight, you choose your Individual who you have. Aria is her name. Aria. Aria. Breathe. Remove any obstacle with the breath in your imagination to perfect good health.
then apply this practice of Tonglen universally to the planet today, to all the states of war and civil unrest, which are occurring everywhere, on every continent on Mother Earth. Take that in as black light into your heart, disappear it, and imagine it with white light back to all those situations in states of absolute peace. And this peace, based on loving kindness, equal to a mother for her only child, totally unconditional, One of the worst I saw in the news today was Myanmar, a Buddhist country. Burma. Then apply it to the extreme states of climate change, producing extreme famine and drought. horrendous tornadoes and floods. And all the poverty situations of homeless and countryless individuals. migrating everywhere on the planet. Oh, 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 oh,
Ewadi Nerdu Da, Chagya Champo Jugane, Jova Chinke Malu Pa, Yei Sala Gopar Shu, Sanjay Kusum Nimpa Jam La Dong, Shoni Megur Dimpa Jam La Dong, Gendu Miche Dumpa Jam La Ki, Jitar Goma Holong Chu Par Shu. By this virtue, having realized Maha Murja, may I quickly establish every being without a single exception in this state of awareness. May the blessings of the three bodies of the Buddha being accomplished, may the blessing of the truth of this Dharma being unchanging, and by the blessing of the wishes of the Sangha, that's us, being unwavering, may this dedication prayer be fulfilled. May all the Lamas have long life, good health, happiness, and prosperity, and may all their wishes be fulfilled. May all beings be happy, free of pain and suffering, established in bliss through our practice, and become emotional stable and equanimity. Duchiche, thank you. Mahalo in Hawaiian, and aloha.